Why does he move it over? Well, because he wants first base in. And everything we say is on film. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our headmaster, our athletic department, and our coaches, I'd like to welcome you to Desert Christian Field for today's contest between the Arizona Lutheran Academy Coyotes and your own Desert Christian Eagles. Yes, it is. They consider them contest. You are contesting. Today, of course, is a special game since our last home game of the year, and it is senior day. I want to invite you to stick around after the game for some festivities to honor our seniors. They're a special group, and we hope that you'll be around to, uh, to celebrate them with us. For now, though, if you'd please stand, remove your caps, and look out to right field for the, for the uh, national anthem. Getting things started off for us this afternoon for the Coyotes. Number 24, third baseman Nathan Henderson. Edwards gets things started off with a strikeout, and here comes number 13, shortstop, Cameron Hogg. batting for Arizona Lutheran. Second baseman number 30, Andrew Mishak.
Dad, you want water? water. water. Fielder number six, Braden Stager. <laughs> Strikeouts against four bats. Starting things off for the Eagles, catcher number eight, Zach Rawson. Shortstop Cameron White. Malice. 
Fielder number 33, Ryan Phillips. Oh, 
14. Third baseman Barrett Green. Fielder Jacob Rawson. Center fielder number seven, Ethan Malice. Oh, here we go. Wear it! 
Shortstop Cameron White.
number 40, pitcher Andrew Edwards. Adding center fielder number 28, Michael Massey. Sixteen, Josiah Weinstein. Thank you. 
in tournaments, we can sometimes get other teams outside of our section, but... Teams up north, are they just good as We're number one. We have faced some of the other section teams and we beat them. Um, but within the rankings, we're number one by a lot. <laughs> She's in the shade and back on the pipe. Fielder number 19, Jacob Ross. Good night. 
Holy, keep it up. Oh, <laughs> 
How many shoes do you get here? Five? Four? Quattro. They should have a pretty good team next year, too, then, huh? Yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got a solid team, so even with losing four, we've got a good base. <laughs> Now batting, number five, second baseman, Brett Gravach. All four seniors on, on a base at all times. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Excuse me. So one was at bat, the other four and uh, So no, so it looks like no, you had Cameron scoring from home, Andrew who walked, and you had Ryan and Mallory. That's so right. All four. Yeah. That's really cool. That, yeah. That'll have to make the video. Get careful, it's not quite tight yet. It's not totally tight, so don't mess with it too much. I'll, I'll tighten it between the knees. Now batting for the Coyotes. Pitcher number seven, Timmy the Strange. Pitcher, I thought they... Leave them with a pinch runner. Oh, you can. You're allowed. For pitchers and catchers, you can pinch run for them unlimited. Now batting number 25, catcher, Willie Dude. Oh, dude. Really hey, we got a bat on the ball. Watch the window. Watch. He's got a truck. Now batting number 24, third baseman Nathan Henderson. I 
Back to the plate for the Coyotes. Number 13, Cameron Hodge.
Just journaling. I just journal the game sometimes. <laughs> just to have it. Oh, Cameron. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Cameron White's last home at bat as an Eagle. Let's give him a big round of applause. He makes his way off the field. And that brings number 12, first baseman Zach Malice to the plate. Well, folks, looks like we're going to do it again. Let's hear it here for the big senior, Zach Malice. Quite down for the day, folks. We'll give him. Uh, we'll give him his just desserts. Because they were supposed to be Now batting number five, second baseman Brett Graybosch. Thank <laughs> you. 
choreographer of the team. The unofficial, the official unofficial. Now batting, number 13, Cameron Hogg. Yes. Yeah, where were you guys? Where are you? Uh, Ryan had a game of yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why not? It was very last minute. I told Grant, I said, this cannot be the official end of season party because we're not ready. I think it was more just a bomb. Yeah, that's yes. I don't know if you realize that Yeah, I know. It was more for the coaches. I think it's pretty cool. Just had to throw on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now batting second baseman, number 30, Andrew yeah, so Mache. I didn't do it all season, like I thought it was going to be. No, they, no, because there were games I forgot my book. So, yeah. Most of it is very, very generic, where I'm saying what happens, but then I put in, like, thoughts or ideas for the video, and then it's really just to be focused on the game. Well, well, originally I was thinking I might do that, but it hasn't turned out because I wasn't consistent and because, you know. Okay. So I was kind of thinking that, yeah. It's hard. It's very hard to do. Now 
batting first baseman number 21, Danny Kohler. Well, before we get to Mr. Kohler, looks like that does it for Andrew Edwards. And Ryan Phillips, looks like Ryan's coming off as well. I want to say thank you to these guys. As their replacements come out, I want to remind all of you to stick around after the games. We can honor our seniors in a ceremony with them and with their parents. Uh, please stay. Please stay after. And, uh, we just love these guys. Thanks, gentlemen. Jeff's got you covered. Did you ask him or did he tell you, Jack, you can be in the back? No, he's running. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't stopping you today. Oh, that is so cool. Did you tell him to do that or yeah. did they do no, it? I lined him up. I got this one first. Oh. I got that one first, and I'm like, I need one of all four of them. Yeah. That's nothing else is real number. I know. And Andrews. Oh, yeah. We give up the raise to younger players now. I know. Except for the... Is that what that was? Yeah, it's the last home game. Good job, Brad. That's fun. Still keeping on that. Things like that. Things like what? Yeah, I just, I just, all I do is. Now batting, center fielder number 28, Michael Massey. Come on, Michael. Let him walk you, let him walk you. Is that kind of an earned run since the guy got on with a uh, strikeout for the drop ball? I can't make it. Can't strikeout. Yeah. No way, sir. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Now we don't we don't know the official stats, but we know that we we figure that's probably the most of any four players in the history of Arizona baseball. Well, I don't they've led Christian to three section titles and two state championships, <laughs> and they're also the last class that was here and participated in the building of this uh, amazing field. And we're going to call them out one by one, and their parents as well. We're going to start off with Mr. Zach Malice. are making their way over there. While they do that, I want to go ahead and say that uh, Zach is the son of AJ and Michelle Malice. Zach has attended Desert Christian since sixth grade. And he'll be continuing his baseball career at Grand Canyon University, and he's planning on studying sports management. Zach has a, Zach has a career batting average at Desert of 541. Before today, he had 204 RBIs, 189 runs, 199 hits, and um, has, uh, has only struck out 14 times in over 450 at-bats. Besides that, he's got 89 extra base hits. As a pitcher, he has a record of 31-8 and eight with a 2.24 ERA, and he was the winner 
of the 2014 state championship game. Give him one more round of applause. Next, we're going to call out Andrew Edwards. Andrew is the son of Brent and Jenna Edwards. Andrew has also been attending Desert Christian since the sixth grade. Andrew has, uh, has, at this point, signed to play baseball with Central Arizona Junior College, but he may change if the opportunity presents itself. We'll see what happens. Andrew is planning on studying communications. Some, some of Andrew's stats are that uh, he, over, over his time at Desert, it's probably just this year, I think it's over his time at Desert, has a 24-3 and record with a 1.75 ERA. He has, again, not including today, 275 strikeouts in 164 innings of baseball. Andrew has never lost to a Division IV opponent. He has a 418 career batting average with 124 RBIs. He has never won, never allowed a home run in his career. And he is the winner of the, of the 2013 state championship game. Next, we want to call out Ryan Phillips. Ryan is the son, is the son of Steve and Risa Phillips. Ryan has attended desert since kindergarten. And at the time, of course, that's the longest you could have, could have gone through. We want preschools only been around for a couple of years. Ryan has also had a wonderful career here at Desert. And Ryan's going to be continuing his education at Pima and studying accounting. Ryan has a 416 average with 138 runs and 133 hits. His batting average has grown with each year. And he had the go-ahead hit in the 14 title game. Let's give him another round of applause. And last but not least, of course, is Cameron White. He of the um, a wonderful walk-up music every year. Cameron is the son of Jeff and Jill White. And Cameron has attended Desert since the sixth grade as well. Must have been something in the water that year. Cameron has also had a wonderful career here at Desert. And he's going to be continuing his education at Grand Canyon. And he's studying finance. Over his career, Cameron has earned a 461 average notching 175 runs, 148 hits, 119 RBIs, and he has started every game he has played at shortstop or second base. Let's give Cameron one more round of applause. And uh, those, ladies and gentlemen, those are our seniors. This is a special group. Gentlemen, Thank you for your service. Thank you for your, your dedication, your commitment to the game, your commitment to desert. You guys have worn that, uh, you guys have done that jersey proud, and we're proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2015. The next stop for this team is the state tournament. And, uh, We've, uh, at, at Desert Christian Baseball, we tend not to rebuild, we tend to reload. Next year is going to be an amazing group as well. We hope to have you out here for as many home games as possible next season. And again, thanks to these guys, and thank you fans for coming out to our, uh, to our games this year. We will see you in, uh, in the, at the playoffs, and then in 2016.
Thank you. 